Good morning. Today is Friday, June 5th, and it is a beautiful day. Last week, Wednesday, was the last day of the Head Start school year, and now we are in what is called summer break. But because we missed out on going to school, because it was closed, Auntie Carrie still gets to be your teacher until summer is over. Hooray! As far as the COVID-19 virus, we all have done such a good job of stopping the spread. So now things will continue to open up for us to enjoy. I heard the zoos open, the libraries are open. I think I'm gonna check it out later. I think you can order books and then you can go and pick it up later. We'll see. Um, so this is great news, but of course we still need to practice social distancing we need to remember to keep our hands off of our faces and we need to wash our hands. Grown-ups are still required to wear masks when going to places like the store, where now there's all kinds of signs and new rules to follow to keep everyone safe, but it's okay. I'm just so happy and thankful to be able to go to the beach and lay in the sand. And that's what I did this morning. We will be on summer break for all of the month of June and most of July. I am looking forward to fun adventures and sharing them with you. I will also continue to learn new things just like you. And one of the ways that I learn new things is by looking closely and concentrating and focusing. I love to look uh, at trees and if I look up at a tree, I discover so many things like nest and bugs and seeds and flowers. And I love looking down at the soil where I can examine the bugs and the leaves and all the other things there. One day I found a shell and I thought it came from the ocean and I wondered how did the shell get here on the soil? Well, you know, one of the ways that I learn a lot is by reading. And yesterday I read this book and I think I found out where that shell actually came from. So I'm gonna read it to you now. It's called, Maka, the tree snail discovers his worth. There's Maka. So I guess there's snails that live in trees. I never knew them. Let's read about it. Maka the tree snail discovers his worth. And here we go. This is a big book, so I'm gonna hold it up here. Maka the tree snail made his home in the tall ohia tree. The tree was strong its leaves were green, and his food was abundant and free. I wonder what Maka eats. Each night, when the moon rose high in the sky, Maka kept the same routine. First, he washed his face. Next, he brushed his teeth. And then, find a leaf to clean. Do you think he eats leaves? There he is. You see, brown stuff grew on top of the leaves. Oh, and that was what was Maka's food. It was called fungi, and it was icky and sticky, but to Maka, it tasted good. So Maka kept right on eating as he slid on top of each leaf. He'd munch and crunch till his stomach was full and his rests were few and brief. He's kind of like a caterpillar, yeah? He seems to eat and eat and eat. I wonder if he grows like a caterpillar. Maka did the very same thing night after night each year. And though most of the time he was content, meaning he felt good, something to him wasn't clear. Others can do such amazing things, but I have nothing to show. I'm not important like the rest. I'm small and shy and slow. He's not feeling very good about himself right now. 
The Eevee flits about beautifully. The Eevee is a bird. The Alawi sings a sweet song. The spider spins a web to catch his meal, but I just munch all night long. Maka sighed. He went <sighs> as he drifted to sleep, dreaming of how it would be if only I could do something really great instead of just being me. That's a happy face spider. This is the back of the spider. When Maka awoke, Hours later, he heard a lot of chatter. The tree animals had gathered as he slept to discuss an urgent matter. Something is not right, the Eevee said. The trees look really ill. They get sick and then they wither one by one. It's a miracle our tree is still here. Maka turned to look towards the forest beyond the home he knew and what he saw caused him to gasp. Gasp means go like this. Oh! What the bird said is true. What could have caused such damage? Asked Maka. The other trees once green were no more. Their own tree was now in grave danger. This was a problem they couldn't ignore. What's happening to the trees? We need to do something, said EEV, or we will lose our tree home too. Let's ask our older friends who live here. Surely they'll know what to do. Nearby, the elders were talking, for they too had seen the harm. And as they saw the damage and worry, they felt great fear and alarm. So they were scared too. Wise Pueo, that is the Hawaiian way to say owl, perched high and listened. For months he had watched the problem advance and now he spoke six words he was sure of. I know we have a chance. What's this chance? asked the animals. Is there someone who can save our tree? Yes, said the Pueo. He does it each night. Look closely and you'll see. Who do you think is saving the tree? They stared at each other in wonder. Who could it be, they asked aloud. It must be someone big, someone strong and mighty, someone who stands out in a crowd. No, nope, said Puel. He isn't big. In fact, he's actually quite small, but he plays a big role in saving this tree. He's the answer to saving us all. You got any ideas? You see, there is something that grows on our leaves. It's gooey and really thick. If we don't get it off, it grows bigger each night. It can make the trees really sick. Do you know who has been cleaning our leaves night after night each year? Indeed, it's the tree snail who lives in our tree. He's our hero. Now that is very clear. And all the animals turned to look at Maka. For they had seen him clean the leaves too. Me, said Maka. I help our tree live, but I'm nobody. How can this be true? Yes, my friend, you have a big role. You have saved our Ohia tree. If it weren't for you, our tree would die. You're very important, can't you see? Where's Maka? There he is. Maka's eyes grew big. He is now 10 feet tall. If this tiny little me can save a tree, then truly, no one is too little or small. And these are the flowers of the Ohia tree.
Hooray for Maka, cried his friends, and they gave him a very loud cheer. Wow, thought Maka, I really do count. And he smiled. His purpose is now clear. That was a great story. I know sometimes we don't feel that we're important, but really, we are all of us. So have a beautiful day, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.